Hey Bird Dragons, welcome back to my channel. It's time for my monthly update. Let's go. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. So it's that time again. Time to hear what I've been up to in the month of June. You know, we'll talk about books, we'll talk about life, we'll talk about some other stuff as well, and uh, just give you an update on where I'm at. Uh, June was actually an okay month. It wasn't fantastic, but it was okay. Uh, some parts of it were fantastic, and other parts were just okay. Uh, so I'm 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 really excited to talk about it. Uh, we'll we'll get down to the nitty gritty here, and we'll also talk about July, of course, what I'm planning for July. So let's start out with the books I read in June. Uh, first of all, I had planned to finish Memories of Ice, third book in the Malazan Book of the Fallen. I didn't finish it. I'm, I, I don't know, guys, I'm kind of stuck in a rut with that book. I'm going to finish it, but at this point, I'm kind of going to be just eventually finishing it as I get the chance to, because I've had so many other books that I wanted to read, and that just kind of took a back burner. I didn't necessarily intend it to, but it did, and and that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I also continued reading Fire and Blood, I did get some reading done in it, but just not a lot, not real any, not any real progress. So that's okay. Uh, I did continue reading Fire and Blood. I've still been working my way slowly through that. Uh, it's the prequel to Game of Thrones, of course. So uh, I'm getting myself prepared for House of the Dragon, which actually comes out next month. I'm. I can't believe it's here already. I'm just, I, I don't know what, how, how it came so fast and I haven't even finished the book. It's crazy. But I am hoping to have it done by the time the show comes out. So we will see. I finished reading Deadbeat, which is book seven of the Dresden Files. I'm really loving this series, guys. It just keeps getting better. I've said that before. I know I'm a broken record, so I, I won't go any further than that, but just know that I'm enjoying it. I also read Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, the first book in the Farseer trilogy. And I had always kind of been on the fence with this series, but I tell you what, I absolutely loved my time reading Assassin's Apprentice, and I definitely want to continue reading the series. I'm so glad that I took the advice of so many of my favorite booktubers and said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to read it and try it out and see what I think. And I'm glad I did because it was a really, really great read for me. I also finished The Seventh Gate, which is book seven in the Death Gate cycle, the final book of the Death Gate cycle. And I absolutely love that series. Oh my goodness. I'm in a... It's kind of bittersweet to be done with it. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the ending. And I'm kind of sad that it's over, you know? So I'm, I'll probably read that series again. But I will link in the cards at the end of the video and in the description below my review for the series. I did a Why You Should Read video for the Death Gate Cycle. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you can check it out. I also finished reading Hemlock by Jesse Teller. That is the second book in the Manhunters trilogy. And and it was good. It wasn't as good as book one, I don't think. But it was still really good. And I'm really looking forward to reading the final book in that trilogy. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Jesse Teller, so I'm, I'm really excited to get to more of his books as well. But... Uh, gotta finish the Manhunter trilogy first. So that's what I read in June. I also had several <laughs> live streams, three of which were Chasm Friends episodes. Now, I usually do two Chasm Friends episodes a month, 
but it just worked out for everybody involved to, to do three this month. So uh, I did have a Chaz and Friends episode with Baron from Your Brain on Books. That was absolutely phenomenal. I am so glad that I got to have that time with Baron. He's such a great guy. I highly recommend you check out his channel and watch that episode of Chaz and Friends as well. I got to talk with the lovely Joanna from uh, the channel, Joanna, and she was just amazing to talk with. We had such a good time chatting, and uh, we have a lot in common in terms of reading taste, both fiction and nonfiction, and uh, I just think it was a really great time. And I also got to chat with Alyssa from Into the Heart Wild. She's become a good friend of mine, and she's... She's been on BookTube for a while, but uh, she still hasn't quite hit that 100 subscriber mark. So if you get a chance, check out that chat that I did with Alyssa and make sure to go show her channel some love. Watch a few of her videos, subscribe to her channel. I think that would be really awesome. And she deserves to, to have so much more watch time. Uh, I really enjoy her videos. She has a lot of unique content to bring to BookTube. And then I participated in a chat on J.R. Carroll's channel, and that was for the first three books in the Dresden Files. And that was a really great time chatting with J.R. and Sarah from Sarah Reads, Philip from Philip Chase, and also A.P. Canavan from A Critical Dragon. It was a great time and I'm so glad I got to take part in that and I hope we get to do others in the future as well. So I also watched a few things. I watched Stranger Things Season 4 with my kids. We've been slowly working through that series together. Season 4 finally came out and it did not disappoint. Oh my goodness, Stranger Things is such a good show. Uh, we also started watching the Obi-Wan series on Disney Plus, and it, we're huge Star Wars fans, so we, we can't miss out on some Obi-Wan. Uh, and also, we started watching The Umbrella Academy, season three, so just completely getting our geek on, and it's it's been a wild ride so far. I love to take time out to watch some good shows, especially with my kids. That was a lot of fun. Speaking of my kids, I did get to spend some good quality time with them on Father's Day. So Father's Day in the U.S. is celebrated on June 19th. And I just had a wonderful time with my kids. That was the day we actually watched the last episode of Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1. And then we went out to dinner at one of our favorite restaurants that we like to go to together. It's an Italian restaurant that makes some amazing meatballs. And then uh, we, we came home and we watched John Wick, uh, the, the first John Wick movie. Uh, I've seen it before. It's one of my favorites, but my kids had not seen it before. And we, we just had a blast watching John Wick together. It was so much fun. And um, I can't wait to continue watching that movie series with them and see what they think of it. Because I've watched all three movies, but, uh, but they, they're new to the series. So that was really fun, getting to spend that time with them. And, uh, and they treated me to some stuff, too. They, uh, my daughter got me this, uh, this dragon... You can see it here, the, the Dragon mouse pad for my computer at work. I've been needing a new mouse pad anyway, so this was perfect. And then my son, my son got me some books for Father's Day. So uh, he got me If It Bleeds by Stephen King, American Psycho, and a collection of short stories by John Grisham called Sparring Partners. Now, I don't know much about this book at all. Um, I have no idea w what it's going to entail, but uh, he, John Grisham writes a lot of uh, lawyer mystery type books, so I'm assuming that this will have some of that. And of course, I, I'm, I'm familiar with the story of American Psycho, 
I saw the movie many years ago, or, or part of the movie anyway, and uh, so I'm, I am curious to read that. And then, um, and then of course, I'm familiar with Stephen King, and If It Bleeds is a collection of uh, four short novellas, I think. So I'm very excited to get to those. And that was my uh, that was my Father's Day book haul. <laughs> I'm gonna set those right there. And then I also got some time to play some video games in the month of June. I, I, I don't get a lot of time to play video games, but I actually sat down and took some time to actually get back into some video games that I've been wanting to, to play and or get back to playing. Uh, one of which is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. It is a Castlevania-esque game. It is so much fun. If you played the Castlevania games, you know how much fun they are, and you can only imagine how much fun Bloodstained is. It's a really great game, and it's it's just as hard as Castlevania is. Probably even harder, but it's so worth it. A lot of fun. I also got to try out Ghost of Tsushima, um, and I've that's a game I've been wanting to try out for a while, and it's just a gorgeous game, guys. It's so... Uh, so beautiful the art style is amazing and uh, the fight choreography is really well done and uh, I'm, I'm just at the very beginning of it so i haven't played much with it yet but eventually i hope to do some more and maybe that will continue into the month of july uh, to let me play some of those games in july and so since we're speaking about july let's talk about what i have planned to read in the month of july I do plan to continue Fire and Blood. I'm going to be reading that until I'm finished with it. So whenever that happens this year, hopefully I finish it before the show. I am going to plan on continuing to read Memories of Ice. Maybe I'll finish it this month, but no guarantees. I've got a lot on my plate for the month of July. A lot's going on. I'm going to read Proven Guilty. This is book number eight in the Dresden Files series. And I am going to continue reading it along with the audiobooks. I'm going to do another immersive read. I've really been enjoying that format. Hearing James Marsters do the voice for Harry Dresden is just fantastic. So I'm looking forward to continuing that. I'm also going to start the Shades of Magic series. I'm going to read the first book, A Darker Shade of Magic. And I'm really excited to try these books out. I keep hearing so many good things about V.E. Schwab and this series in particular. So hopefully I will get to that this month. And I have a feeling it's not going to disappoint. I could be wrong. You never know. But uh, I, I'm, I'm very excited to see where it goes. I am going to read Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. And, of course, if you're familiar with Ellie, you know she's also a booktuber, and I've been wanting to read her book for a long time. And I'm going to be buddy reading that with my friend Mona Lisa at Mona Lisa Reads. And very excited to get to finally reading that book. I am also doing a reread of Ocean at the End of the Lane. This will be my second reread of the book, my favorite book of all time. And it is going to be a read-along on my Discord channel. My very first ever read-along on my Discord channel. So if you are not in my Discord and you want to read Ocean at the End of the Lane with a bunch of fantastic people and chat about it and talk about what you like and what you don't like and all that fun stuff, join my Discord. Link is in the description below or at the link in the you know, click the link in the description below. It will take you to my links page, and you can find my Discord there. And I really hope you'll join and join us for the read along for Ocean. And I am also starting my patron pick for the quarter in July. So the winner for my quarterly patron pick chose for me to read Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and I am very excited to check it out and see what it's all about. Uh, if you have not joined my Patreon and you want to have a chance to put your name on a wheel to pick a book for me to read each quarter, 
There is a specific tier that you need to sign up for for that. No obligation ever, but if it's something you're interested in, I'd love to have you join my Patreon community. And the final book that I plan to read for July is, I don't know, I have an elective slot. If I get that far, I might not get that far, but I hope I do because that would just give me another book, a random book from my TBR that I get to cross off the list. So hopefully I'll have time for an elective. I may not, and that's okay too. So so yeah, I've got a lot of big plans for July. I am going to have two more Chasm Friends episodes in July. Those are still to be announced, but I will be letting you know very soon who those guests are, so stay tuned for that. And th that wraps up my monthly update, guys. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this video and on all the fun things that I did in June and the great goals that I have for July. Maybe I'm crazy, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited for what I've got planned for July. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Make sure that you are reading more books. I'll talk to you soon.